Evening everyone, my name is Christine, this is Mr. Bangles, and that means you're watching Hobbit's Corner. Thank you for stopping by the channel today. Today we are going to open this jewelry jar that I purchased. Um, I'm pretty sure I got this from the Salvation Army in Burlington. So we're going to go ahead and open this jar and take a look and see what treasures are inside of it. It's been a while since I've had a jar. Um, this was an older purchase because right now we can't go out and buy anything. So let's go ahead and take a look and see what's in this oldie but goldie, hopefully. I really tape it up good. There's a really neat checkered bangle. I see some nut, nuts in here. Oh, that one's broken. That kind of hurt, actually. All right. Let's get that. Move that out of the way. And we'll just pull a bunch of stuff out. And we'll see what we've got. Let me put my glasses on. This looks like a belt. Or a piece of a belt. Not really quite sure what this is. Well, looks like it might have been a necklace. I don't know. I could definitely uh, make some different things with this though. Is there any marks on it anywhere? Nope. Very lightweight. All right, here's a watch. It's got some scratches on it, and I think that even might be, you know, that's a pretty big scratch. But we could definitely, it's got some wear on it here too. It's not in the greatest condition. Different. This says Vera Bradley. This looks like it might be from a purse. Oh, I hate it when they do this, when they just throw like old purse pieces in. Yeah, that definitely looks like it's probably from a purse. Okay. Just had to bang on the floor to ask my son downstairs to be quiet. Here is a, oh, this is leather. It's a nice leather. Of like smooth leather. It's got A and C. Not sure who that is. You can see it better there. And it's got this nice chain. And it's just an over the head. So that's interesting. Let me move this out of the way so maybe we can see it better. Do you know who A and C is? Because I don't. Pretty neat. Neat piece. I don't have much space here, so give me one second. A and C. I don't know, does it go this way? And that goes around your neck and that hangs? I guess you could wear it both ways, couldn't you? A and C. That's weird. Hmm, I have to look that up. It's nice and soft, the leather. And we've got, that's an earring. Got some plastic teardrops. Multi-strand here. They're kind of tangled. Let's see if I can get them untangled. There we go. Maybe, maybe not. Here we go. And this is what it looks like. It's really pretty. It's a good condition. Just acrylic. Still pretty. Nice layer. Layered necklace. This is that big nut. It's broken here though. I'll oh, just put that in crafting for someone. Got a quite a few of those. It's 
feels like plastic. Another earring. These are just plastic sea themed beaded necklace. You could craft with those. And then there's this really neat checkered pearl bangle. Black. Looks like pearl uh, inlay. That's neat. Ooh, and the inside, you could see it. it's like through the whole thing. That's really cool. It's a neat bangle. Pretty. Reminds me of the 90s. I like that. But a well loved room. Oh my goodness. Look at this. <laughs> we just had a whole pile of these. How did that get in the Salvation Army jar? Because I haven't opened this, so that's too funny. We just keep adding to those cute little earrings. This is a adjustable ring. It's got an M on it. I'm not sure, but it looks like it's gold, but that would be weird, wouldn't it? I'll test that. And then we've got a well-loved rosary. Cording's all dirty. What is this? Oh, is this part of this? Or separate? I think that might be separate. This looks like it might be... A real gold chain that's broken. Maybe not. I don't know. Oops. Almost dropped that on the floor. Let me take a quick peek. Yeah. It smells like gold. I will. I don't even think I'd be able to fix that, though. Oh, yeah, I could fix it. It's just come off its little hook. I'll test that as well. And then we've got this multi-strand. Oh, this is going to be a project to try to get this untangled. Not sure. There we go. Let's see how quickly we can get that out. Okay, we've got that end out. Oh, it's a hot mess. Look at that big jamble. Oh, what a shame. Oh my goodness, look at that. What is going on? Oh, maybe that's why it's in this jar. I bet you it was it's really pretty when you untangle it. Oh, hold on. I tried, my friends, but this is the best I could get it. <laughs> it's a diamond cut gold chain. Um, there are so many strands on here. Look at that. So we'll keep trying. It's very pretty. It needs to be cleaned, but we will keep trying. And that's a lot of good chain too. If you want to like create something with a dainty chain, we could take that apart. There's a really pretty earring. Plastic stone. We'll see if we can find the other one. There is a pendant, a gunmetal. It's good condition. String. As you know, string is jewelry. <laughs> this looks like a fish and a shell pendant. Very bright gold. No mark on it. Chain's in pretty good condition. It's different. If the fish was going the other way, wouldn't that be like Pisces? 
which is what I am. Here is that other earring. So we have another set of those. It's interesting. Black chain with some gold links. This is pretty. Chain's in good condition. No enamel off of it. I like that too. And this looks like an earring, I think. Yeah, it's like a dangly earring, kind of like a rose gold. Oh, there's the other one and the other one of that one. So we've got both sets of those. These are pretty Southwest, very shiny. Good condition. There's that other earring. So we've got both of these chandelier drop earrings. Looks like this is another earring. Yeah. So here's another kind of multi level chain. Fits like that. It's in good condition as well. Nice. Nice links. Lots of big links in this one. So that I like. There's another earring. Those are plastic. It's plastic faucetted teardrops. Olympics 1976. I was two years old. Wow, that's neat. What's, is there anything written on the back of it? I'll have to look that up. It might be a souvenir from the Olympics. All right, let's pull some more out. Oopsie daisy. Okay, so bumping the lights here. Oh, there's the other half of that piece there. Okay. Let's see what's in this bag. Let's move all this stuff over here. This looks like a memory wire bracelet. A couple. Yep. This has um, the fine uh, metal wrap around it. This here, if you were to pull that off, it would be coiled all around it. So those are neat. You can definitely, it's a little harder to strip those, but you could just leave that coating on and uh, put beads right over top of it. You would need to get rid of the seed beads though. So depending on where they are on the bracelet, it might be hard. This looks like a, is this like a, a watch thing? Sorry, a purse thing, or maybe it's a collar for a dog. I don't know, but it does say coach on it. Maybe it's a dog collar. Hot pink. Could we sell it as a dog collar? This is a genuine leather. You are beautiful, amazing, unique, exceptional, fantastic, fabulous, wonderful, spectacular, one of a kind, special, awesome, and so on. This is neat. This is a really neat wrap. It says good works. That's really cool. I really like that. Isn't that pretty? Pretty funky and it's in good condition. It's another I like piece. This looks like it's the other half, so we might just have to snap these two pieces together. Looks like it came off here, like that. Yeah, it's weird. It has a lobster clasp on it that's broken, so I'm wondering if it was meant to be a belt and that's how it clasped it class together. This is a cute little pin, hairpin. Single earring. Got some chunky beads. Looks like it's just an over the head. Oh no, there's the clasp. It's pretty worn here where it was touching the skin. But there's lots of pieces we can salvage in here. 
for sure. Lots of neat. I like these. They're just plastic. It's all plastic. So that'll go in the salvage bucket. Lots of salvageable pieces in here. This feels really cold and waxy. This is a braided, beaded statement necklace. Bring you up there. It's got that antique finish. It's neat. It feels really weird. This waxy. It's different. This does not say Japan or Hong Kong. It looks like it's missing two strands. I see one strand here, which looks like it goes on there. Needs to be restrung. And that piece, this is really pretty. I love the color of the beads. Yeah, so why does this look like it's missing two? Oh, I put it on the wrong thing. Duh. Silly me. Well, I kind of fixed it just to show you. I'm going to obviously restring it, but it is so pretty. Look at the varying colors. This is gorgeous. They are just plastic. But really pretty. So we'll just fix it up. Oh, that's beautiful. I love those. I will probably do that tonight. Here is a lanyard. I used to make these for people at my work. This is a really nice one. Lots of beautiful crystal beads. Some nice spacer beads in there. Someone had a nice eye. Very nice. Put your ID card on it there. Really pretty. Oh, I like this. Pretty blue acrylic beads. Look at those. Gorgeous. Lots of marbling in them too. See the marbling in there? Those are pretty. What a pretty necklace. I like that. Here's another one. Another big chunky. This chain is pretty well loved. We would need to put this on a different chain. This is another really pretty blue acrylic marbled beads. I like those too. All right. This is pretty too. Oh, here's another one. This is a brown one. Oh, look at this. This is nice. Look at those. Those are glass beads too. Those feel like stones. This is really nice. I really like this one. This one I really, really like. I think I'm going to keep this one. I don't keep a lot of stuff. Um, I've been selling a ton of it. Some homemade wire wrapped earrings. But what I do keep, it's it's gotta be real special. There's an earring, another earring. Some more earrings, some cute pearls. Lots of earrings. It's a big, worn out hoop, safety pin. Do you remember, I think I've said this before, when we used to put these on our shoes? I don't know, maybe you didn't, but there were girls in my school that would just have their shoes covered in them. The Banana Republic piece, some nice glass beads. Double strand? Yeah. Oh, triple. Oh, single. <laughs> I like these. These are very different shape 
type bead. See that shape? Almost like uh, the boxy beads you used to find back in the day in the 90s. This, this is nice. I like that. There is a little pin. It looks like a hookah. Can you see that? I think that's what that's called. A hookah. Looks like it's made out of pewter. And let's see if it's made out of silver. I don't think so. Well, it looks like it does have something written on the on the little post here. Let me just take another look. No, it's just the patterning. We can test that too, though, just to be sure. It was really flexible, but a cute little hookah. We have a beaded bracelet. Here's another memory wire bracelet. Ooh, look at this one. Very long, very soft. Some nice solid black seed beads. This is pretty. Very nice. That is a nice one. All right, let's empty out the rest. Ooh, some statement pieces. And some more memory wire. Let's just dump it all out. And that's the end of the jar. <clears throat> this struck me. What is this? AC Milan. I've been having really good luck lately with uh, men's watches, but this looks like, oh, someone's sneezing. This looks like it's a collector's watch of some, of some sort. Maybe a sports memorabilia. We will see about that. Here's another watch, just a made in China. This is nice too. Good condition. Genuine leather. I like that. I'm going to put that on this side. There's that other big hoop. Pretty tarnished earring. This is a pendant with, I guess, a dove piece symbol. I don't know. This looks like it's made. Does anybody know what that is? Almost looks a bit like the Star of David, but with a bird. That's interesting. It's got like that wheat. There was another one too I saw. Sea of Galilee. Isn't that pretty? On stone. Cute little pendants. Those are really cute. This is a broken piece from a necklace. This is a beautiful glass, piece of cut glass. A Christmas lapel pin for 50 cents. Frosty. Made in China. Manufactured Cincinnati, Ohio. It's cute. <laughs> we got some buttons. Bag of buttons. Another seed bead bracelet, like the black one. There is another barrette. It's pretty well worn. And this is a statement necklace. Uh, I don't know if it's still in good working order. Looks like it. Yeah, all the pieces are there. Neat. Pretty blues. Wouldn't do very good as a bracelet. It's too articulated. Here we have kind of three-dimensional hoop earrings. 
Underneath. Earring there, earring there. Vancouver 2010 skating pin. It's like a novelty souvenir piece. Again, this is a this looks like a ring that's caught up in here too. How do we get that out? Interesting. Sometimes it's just a little wiggle. There we go. So this is another piece of that broken other earring. This looks like a just purely costume ring. It's missing a stone on the side. It's in good condition though, I could fix it. Here is a earring. Oh, look at that. If there isn't another one, you could just wear it as a pin. So pretty. I could even turn it into a pin with the backing. Here's some vintage earrings. Green enamel with gold. Here is another earring. It's a flower. Let me show you these again. They went pretty fast. Clip-ons. No name. This is a Snow Valley Stars 555 Award. So another pin. Here is another ring. Really worn. Just a costume ring. Here's another piece of that necklace. A hairpin or a hair clip. Rose. This is a cute, cute kind of boho style multi. This is a nice Rolo chain too. I like that. Love that medallion. It's in great condition. It's quite nice. There's a tag on it. And it says Chico's. It's in really good condition. I might do a Chico lot because I like this. Got quite a few pieces now. It's a really well worn hoop. And here's another statement necklace. Not made very well. This chain is really good though. I think we would just take the chain and use it. This is, I can't imagine this being comfortable. And then we have a Beautiful medallion on cording. That's nice. Got a cute earring. It's like a disco ball. Just checking it. Doesn't look like it's silver. We've got, this is broken, kind of looks Egyptian. There's that other earring, so we've got both of these. These are quite nice actually. Oh, well-worn bracelet, we'll take apart for the crystal. Some more string. Ooh, what is this? Oh, what is this? Oh, it's worn. I don't care. It's so nice. Just checking to see. Sometimes even if it's worn, there's a name on the inside. It says size 6. It won't fit me, but look at that. I would clean that up. It's got some verdigris on it. Let's see the green. would be a cocktail like a pinky ring not even let me see maybe on my bigger hand 
Isn't that gorgeous? I'm going to clean that up tonight. Clean it up tonight, ladies and gentlemen. This is the Scales of Justice, it looks like, maybe. It's an interesting pin. Here is another costume ring. Cool. Someone loved that one. And we're getting down. We're so close to the end. These are beautiful. Those are nice. Those will look so nice at an event where the lights are down and another baseball pin like a little starfish what's this just like a little triangle this is a smoky colored stud and we have both of those which is nice because those are quite cute actually I like those they're they're cute this is the well worn. Oh, there's another earring and a ring and the other earring there. This is a pretty well worn. <clears throat> Nothing really to salvage there. There's another one of these bracelets. So we've got some nice crystal beads we can take apart. There is a stone. Save that. We have this nice chain, which looks like it might be able to house that pretty pendant. So we'll fix that too. And then this was the last piece. It says M, M and S. I think it's Marks and Spencers. It just needs to be cleaned. It's not too badly tarnished. It's got these beautiful blue stones in there. So I'm, I think I'll get my cleaner out tonight. Give that a clean and see how it comes out. I, I'm sure we can make it look really pretty. Oh, and we had one more of these with a cross. Isn't that pretty? So we've got three of these. Those are really nice. So I really like this. I like this ring. It's a gorgeous ring. Love this earring. We can turn that into a brooch. The watch. That piece. I like this black one. I like this. Lots of black and silver tonight. I like the stones on that, which we're going to reuse. Love that lanyard. Lots of crafting pieces in this. We're going to fix this up. We like the marbling and that blue. This piece here. And this link. So quite a few really cool pieces in here. Yeah. Some crafting pieces. So we'll go ahead and we'll fix those up. So have yourself a fabulous week, everybody. Stay safe and... I hope uh, the weather is good for everybody, and until next time, take care of yourselves.